good morning and coming at you uh, with a sleepy and unwashed face. I haven't even done any of my morning skincare. I've literally been up for all of like 10 or 15 minutes to be quite honest with you. Got quite a puffy face still. Um, but I figured a few of you ladies were commenting and you're right. I haven't shown my like self-care and my skincare in I feel like it's been a hot minute and I also, and I'm so sorry, I promised one of you ladies that I would do my hair care routine in this video and because of work, I had to wash my hair earlier this week. So I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise that next Sunday I will um, literally come on here with the grossest, dirtiest hair and we will do all of my hair care routine from start to finish, <laughs> I promise you. Um, yeah, because uh, I usually wash my hair once a week. so. It'll be perfect timing, but today I want to wash my face with you and actually use this new um, Caudalie face wash, which you guys know I've been using Caudalie for years now and now, by the way. The other day I went into the Caudalie store with my mom and we saw that they had this, you know, perfect, it's called the Instant Brightening Micro Peel and it's essentially, obviously it goes alongside their like, you know, perfect range, which, where did I put it? which is this one right here, which you guys have seen me use many, many, many times. Fantastic for dark spots, melasma, sunspots, any sort of discoloration from like pimples and scarring. Um, this truly is wonders. Actually, it has been shown to be 63 times more effective than vitamin C, which is amazing. And also it doesn't come with all the limitations of vitamin C. So for example, like vitamin C, you can't use at night and only works in the morning. You can't necessarily mix it with retinol. This you can mix with whatever the heck you want, use it both day and night. Um, it's like magic in a little bottle. But anyways, because I love that range so much, when I saw the face wash, I was like, oh my goodness. And then I went to an event with them and they gifted it to us. So this is supposed to be a micro peel face wash. So you put it on dry skin. That is key with this face wash. Dry skin, massage it in for 30 seconds. And it's essentially supposed to give you that like micro peel effect you're gonna have smoother skin more even skin toned and um, it's supposed to be fabulous and i will say i've used it three times now and i'm really liking it so far i also use because abuela and i did some masks last night medi heal is actually a brand of sheet masks that i really really like i've used many of their types and this time i went for it which is a little weird i went for the placenta essential mask really 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 good um it smells lovely it's not too strong or chemically of a smell and it was really hydrating on my skin i just put it on last night i slathered the rest of it on my decollete it was so 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 lovely so honestly that's been a couple products i've been using but i'm gonna go wash my face we'll do some skincare and then start getting ready for the day because i have a pedicure appointment and i'm also having lunch with someone um in the industry today which i'm very much looking forward to so let's do it been going through a shift in my skincare because my skin has been extremely unhappy in the last month and I'm not sure if it was that I was trying a couple new products that my skin didn't work for and I will say like on TikTok there's this huge rhetoric I'm gonna do my skincare while I talk because otherwise we're never gonna leave here Vino Perfect Serum first thing <laughs> there's just been this huge rhetoric with like essentially creators bashing other creators by saying oh, you know, I'm not like other creators. I'm not a creator. I test things out for a really, really long time. And you know, no, I, I don't lie like these creators that try things once and then, you know, never try them again. Like how can they give an honest review? And I will say that works for a lot of things, obviously like makeup, it's good to try things multiple times. But when it comes to skincare, it can get a little bit different. When it comes to moisturizers, because it's a surface level product, after once, if you break out or if you get redness, stop using it. Um, you will know immediately if a product does not work for your skin. 
Now, when it comes to serums, that's a different story. Serums, you usually have to test out for a little while to see what they're actually gonna do because they are long-term products. They're not gonna, you know, cure your dark spots in one go, like this one. Yeah, it was just really interesting to see that rhetoric. And it's like in an industry that is so like female um, heavy, like you don't need to bash other people to get to the top. Like, I just, I feel like that is just, not nice like you, you ever there's room for everybody in this world and next up we have the Caudalie resveratrol um this is my third bottle it is a fabulous this is a ingredient that is only used by Caudalie at the moment and it is a retinol alternative which has so so many benefits obviously i'm young i'm 23 um i'm a little bit too young to start retinol but it is something that i obviously would want to use as soon as possible just to keep my skin looking as healthy as possible but i'm not able to start retinol yet so this is actually an alternative that can be used by anybody it's also sensitive skin safe and when i say everybody that includes pregnant women as well so for all the women out there who are having babies and are like oh my god i can't use my retinol anymore use this you can use it, it's safe for pregnant women. It is also safe for people with sensitive skins if you have eczema, rosacea, um, any sort of sensitive like issues. Also safe to use on sensitive skin, which is fabulous. I think that is so amazing. It's a product that I have been loving so, so much. Um, one that I've been trying is this Youth to the People Peptides Energy Eye Concentrate right here. Another one that I've been trying by Youth to the People is this superfood skin drip you can see i've only used a little bit i probably used it for like two three weeks um and it did nothing to my skin it really didn't provide any hydration and my skin was looking honestly drier as time went on so i've, I've set it aside for now i think i'm going to test it out again at another point but i also like it, it just if a product isn't working i don't i don't need to keep using it for six months to know that it's not working especially considering that when I typically try new products, I try to only try one at a time. So for me, I know that if my skin changes, it's usually the new product that I'm trying. That's the culprit because nothing else has changed in my skincare routine. So that one is okay. But this um, eye cream, I'm actually quite enjoying. It's supposed to brighten, smooth, and de-puff. And it's really nice in the mornings. I don't use it at night, but I do use it in the mornings. And it's quite nice. It does de-puff, which is lovely. And then a favorite of mine since this past summer, which I feel like we're going to go on to a year now. But this is the Caudalie uh, Moisturizing Sorbet. Really, really nice and light and hydrating. Has really helped with the redness on my skin. And in the winter, I did have to switch away from that one a little bit to my Premier Crew. Just because the weather was extremely dry. And this one, for the really, really dry, dry, dry days. During the winter, it wasn't sufficient. Like, I needed something more. Um, so I did move away from this one for a little bit, but now that it's a little bit warmer, it's spring, it's not like the Sahara, not even the Sahara Desert, like Antarctica out there, um, I was able to switch back to it and it feels so much better. And last but not least, in terms of like moisturizers, is this Bora Barrier Repair Cream. You guys saw I went to Tahoe for this product and it truly is a game changing product. It, as it says, it's for supporting your barrier and every day now just put some on my cheeks here and it is oh my goodness so good oh, just helps with any redness lack of hydration it's really thick and it's just it's honestly fabulous i really 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 love this product and last but not least, I know some of you guys are asking me um, what I use for my SPF. And I have been using this Summer Fridays. I was actually so silly, you guys, because I had been saving my empties of this sunscreen um, in my, like, desk area here and when i went to film the video i completely forgot to grab them but these are my two empties from this sunscreen i think there was one more somewhere and i ended up throwing it out but um so so good honestly i someone said that apparently the comments or the reviews on sephora are not great for it um but it's a physical sunscreen it's not a chemical sunscreen so i've never gotten any crazy reactions to it whatsoever um it is honestly just really light and hydrating gives you a nice glowy look without being greasy that's key because a lot of sunscreens 
give you like a glow but it's just like grease on your face and that's not nice under makeup so this one kind of starts off a little bit white can i massage it in it also has hardly any fragrance like it smells rather i would say natural so i don't mind that i sometimes prefer that over like a super scented sunscreen and there you go super like a nice glow but it's not greasy it dries down like super flat um, or smooth rather and dry um, it doesn't stay greasy on the skin which is amazing i love that about it and i can't find my la mer lip balm yeah. i can't find my la mer lip balm because so i'm just going to use this sisley one there you go that is my skincare all done for the day you can see the glow in my skin it is so so good and my skin feels so good and like i said i've had to like strip back all the products that i have been trying and just go back to the ones that i know work and um for me right now like shiseido i have also been using this on days that my skin is extra extra dry i will add this and mix it in with my serums just to give like a boost of hydration this is game changing um but the brands that are just tried and true for me right now drunk elephant i mean between the bora barrier and my and this one right this is the f-bomb caudalie always so effective they are effective products um is that it that i mentioned the three drunk elephant caudalie and just hit up those are the three right now that are just my tried and true they work and um if you have the budget Play to Poe. Their stuff works. It's fabulous. But I use them sparingly and for special occasions because they're so expensive. <laughs> but I love them. Anyways, I'm going to go have a quick bite to eat. And then I'm going to start getting ready for the day. At least my skin is feeling like beyond good at the moment. Hello, everyone. I just finished up at the nail salon. My toesies are feeling much happier now. Um, but I am going to take Awela. She's going to go browse around Indigo. I have a um, lunch work meeting, so I have to run off to that um, at 1 o'clock. And then we'll meet up again. And then we're going to get ready, packed up, and head to Cambridge because we are going to take the train together. I'm so excited. I always take the train alone and I never have any company. So it'll be nice to be together. And I don't think Awela's ever taken the train either. So that'll be a fun little experience. And then either mom or Jack will pick us up at the train station. But yeah, that's the plan today. It's very gloomy, very rainy, very icky, but it's a beautiful day. I totally have not vlogged all day, but we are on the train, all set, ready to head back home. But Jack is gonna meet us at my parents' house, and I think mom and dad are picking us up at the train. We are all equipped and out of breath because it's always like you take a flight of stairs up to get into the train. Hello everybody, we are home now and <laughs> Jack's right in front of me. And welcome to family game night, except dad, because he has already gone to bed. But we are playing a game called Moral Dilemma. And essentially the gist of it is you get a dilemma and then you get option A and option B. And the person who reads the card has to pick between A or B and then everybody else in the group has to guess what that person would answer and then the people who get it right get points and it's just really funny because some of the questions like everybody gets right but then the person has a totally different answer and anyway so i figured i would take you through one round whose turn is it now mm, jack. yours because jack just played okay but then these are all in english so we're all translating for abuela and it's a bit of a hot mess but anyways this one's shorter so we'll do this one this is one where you would lie <laughs> all right jack thinks i would lie on this one okay a cashier casually asks if you have plans for the evening, then adds that his or her shift is over at 9. The cashier is a solid 6 out of 10 on the classic scale. Do you A, make up some lie that you already have plans, or B, take the bait? Who knows where this will lead? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so abuela. easy, so easy. Voy al supermercado y el, la persona, el, mom, help. La persona del supermercado es eh, un No, Sam, how do you say okay. six out of ten? What? Six out of ten. Es un say de. de. Sí, de diez. Está bien. ¿Te habían dicho así, mamá? Sí, sí. Seis de diez. Entonces, eh, eh, Medio feo. 
Oh, es medio bonito. Me 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 no, pero ese muchacho le dice, le dice a Sammy. Too ocupado. No, or... no, pero el muchacho le dice a Sammy. Yeah. Ah, eh, que, que, que ya está terminando de, de su, su hora de trabajo, ya va a terminar. Termina a las 9. Termina a las 9, que si quiere salir. A Sammy agarra y le inventa una mentira así como para salirse de la situación. O B, termina saliendo con el muchacho y no sabe a, a dónde va a parar. Pues. Ah, ya. Yeah. All right, so now. Okay, what's going to happen? A or B? All right, everybody ready to flip? <laughs> Mom! Sammy, you know how many times you have said yes to not lie in the moment? <laughs> and I can recall the first time. <laughs> and you were in middle school. And you got up in my car crying <laughs> because you couldn't even lie. <laughs> You're such a liar. No, but now she would No, lie. I'm evolved. Now I would lie, lie now. Okay, in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, babies. There was a boy who asked me out. And I panicked, said yes. And then I panicked, read to my mom and regretted it. <laughs> And I was bawling because I had said yes to this guy. And I was like, Mom, I don't know what to do. I said yes and I didn't mean to because I felt bad. I didn't want to hurt him. And I said yes. But I have evolved and I would lie now and say no. Okay, okay now it's a witness turn. I'm going to help her read it. Mm -hmm. Okay, put over here. Okay, you've been blessed with the power of telepathy. You can only use it for one purpose. Don't ask why. Do you use it to spy on your friend's innermost thoughts? Mm-hmm. Use it to bring about world peace. I don't know how to. Entiende. Can you repeat it in English? Okay. Or? You've been blessed with the power of telepathy, <laughs> which is <laughs> telepathy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Reading people's minds. Mm -hmm. You can only use it for one purpose. Don't ask why. Nada más lo puedes utilizar para un solo propósito. Ah. Para chimosa. Okay. A, lo usas para espiar. ¿Qué dije? ¿Cómo es en inglés? Sí, para, Spy, la, para espiar. No, para espiar. Oh, okay, okay. En tus amigos most personal. Like... Sí, most personal. Sí, sí, sí. 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 Sí, para, para ayudar, espiar, para, no, espiar. para espiar los, los pensamientos más personales de tus amistades Ajá. o B B um, lo usas para traer world peace o, o lo utilizarías paz. en telepatía para traer paz al mundo mm -hmm. Ay, yo sé que yeah, yeah, I know what we're doing yeah, I know what she's doing I know what I would do, but and, and alright, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> World peace. Well, good evening. My hair is looking a little crazy right now, but we have all gone to bed now. Well, everybody has gone to bed. We are going to bed now, and it's late. We have had such a fun night playing that game. That game, I will say though, um, got a little weird. Some of the cards, I guess, to be fair, like some of the cards are supposed to be extremely weird. Um, but they were almost like a little too weird for us. Uh, so definitely be careful who we play with. Um, but it was fun and we chatted and had some snacks and um, now everybody's just getting ready for bed. Jack's in the bathroom doing his skincare. I'm gonna go in and do my skincare next and I'm ready for bed. It's been a long week, but it was a fun way to end, end the week. And tomorrow I'm excited because if you hear that, that's our dog, Roxy, our family dog. She likes to sleep underneath the bed. Can you hear her? <laughs> she likes to sleep underneath my bed when I'm here, which is so cute. Um, but tomorrow, I want to say we're having a pretty chill day. And then in the evening, we are making babijong, which is the other sort of like traditional dish from Venezuela, which I'm so beyond excited. Hopefully this time we'll have better luck finding all of our ingredients. Yeah, I'm so excited. And if I didn't mention it in the last video, but babijong is um, like pulled meat, pulled beef, I think black beans, rice, plantain, fried plantain, and then some areas in Venezuela do add like a fried egg, which I really like it that way. It's not the traditional way of eating it, I don't believe, but I mean, 
whatever i like it with a fried egg uh so we're gonna do that tomorrow i think which i'm so very excited and then my willa leaves soon which i think if i think about it too much i get very emotional and like reading your comments about so many of you that like have lost your willas i'm so sorry for all of your losses i can't even imagine that it makes me very emotional to think about like my willa but um yeah she's leaving soon which i'm very 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 sad about but anyways not to not to dampen the mood anyways i'm gonna wait for jack to get back and then i'm gonna get ready for bed but um yeah i'll see you guys in the morning hello everyone it is a new day and i am shocked look at my skin just look at my skin take it in look at this glow look at the glow now it is a very specific product. It is not skincare, although skincare did play a huge role in this. So at the Caudalie dinner, I was talking to one of the girls and we were talking about like our favorite um, skin tints and foundations and favorite products for like a Sephora sale. And one of the girls was like, Sam, there's this particular product that you have to try. She's like, every time I wear it, someone has something to say about it. And she told me about it. This is what I have on my skin. This is the Live Tinted Hue Glow. It's essentially like a, not glow drops, but it's kind of like a serum type product that you can put all over your skin. You can also put it on top of like your cheeks. You can mix it in with your foundation. Now I put this all over my skin, like a nice thin layer. And the glow is so gorgeous. It's not like glittery whatsoever. It's just glow and then i put a little bit of my chanel skin tint just in my like cheek area where i needed a little bit more like coverage to cover up any redness and oh my goodness my skin has never looked this good i just am shocked as to how amazing my skin looks anyways i just wanted to talk to you about that because i am literally amazed at how amazing my skin looks but we are about to head out to get all the groceries that we need to make baba young tonight i'm so excited jack is with us tonight he wants to learn how to make it as well and it's just I've, i'm so excited like i cannot tell you how excited i am for tonight i also stole my mom's sweater because she has the best little aritzia sweaters and i forgot not buying this one when they released it at aritzia so every time i'm here i will steal this sweater from my mom because it is I'm gonna go grab my coat, my handbag, and head out. Stop number one before grocery shopping is coffee. So we're going to a cute little uh, coffee shop in Cambridge called Disco, which is actually one of my favorite coffee shops here. Not that we have many, but uh, yeah, it's busy. Goodness, we tried to <laughs> sit outside. <laughs> we tried to sit outside and have our coffees and croissants and snacks, but it was so coffee? windy and so cold that you, you we get? like okay. sat out there for two minutes and then came back to the car. So it's now time to get groceries. We have about three grocery stores we're going to, I think. Um, no. yeah, yeah. Anyways, if you're in Cambridge and you're looking for a new coffee shop, Disco Coffee is one to check out. They have very potent just, coffee. It's very good, but. Okay, first stop is Di Pietro. Hello everyone, I have been a bad student today. <laughs> when we got up from groceries, I honestly got into comfies and I took a nap. I literally had to like retouch my makeup up because I was like passed out. Um, but Abuela has had a head start on the Baby Jong and like I said, We've been sleeping. Jack is still sleeping, <laughs> but I've come down and I've put a cozy little jacket on um, to sort of show you where everything is at. Abuela has sort of talked me through what she's done. Uh, we did have a little bit of, again, trouble with the meat. The meat here is just so different to what she's used to back home. Um, so we did find a lovely piece of um, beef that we could use for tonight, but she did have to cut off a lot of the fat from it, which I'll show you. But anyways, let's talk it through. Abuela, how beautiful she is. <laughs> I'm just looking a lot more glamorous than I am. So this is a little bit of the prep work that Abuela has done. So we've got obviously our plantains. They're not as ripe as we would have liked, but at least they're not green. We've got some veggies. Abuela, ¿para qué son estos aquí? Esto está aquí ya picado, me Oh, okay. So, okay. Perfecto. So these are some of the veggies that are already cut. This was the leftover fat from the meat. Again, like we didn't really need that. Mm -hmm. But we've got all of this stuff diced really small. Some green onions here, some peppers, some tomato, and it looks like onion and garlic in there. And then here we've got, is this hot? Oh yeah, that's really hot. But the meat is in there boiling. Um, Abuela, ¿qué está con la carne? Como puedes aprovechar cuando estás haciendo la carne de sacar un consomé u, u otra sopa, Entonces le pones cebolla, ajo, ya? pimentón, el la, verde, ya lo veo. El, eso es para que para que agarre gusto la sopita con la que estás haciendo 
la carne que luego se va y se a mechar con agua, agua normal. Agua normal. Okay. So essentially what she's saying is in here, this is like step one, you put it, you put the beef in here with some garlic, some green pepper and water. And the reason she's done this is because it makes like a nice like consomme, like you can actually make a soup from this um, afterwards if you'd like. So that's what that looks like. And then over here, we've got the black beans, which are all done. Um, there's so many different recipes to black beans. Mom has always preferred salty beans to sweet beans. It all depends on taste, so we are a salty bean type of family, um, but that's what we've made to go okay. with the asada. Ooh, I can try. Delicious. Mm. Oh my goodness. Solamente tiene sal, pimentón, She's saying you can even use it for like an onion soup, which I love onion soup. Okay, so like once your meat is cooked for a while, you actually take the meat out, you let it sit for a bit. Um, and then puedes usar el... Claro, tu guarda el consomé, luego, en... I'm being, again, yeah, a bad student at having some beans because they're so good. Mm. Y lo primero que uno pone a freír es el ajo con la cebollita, con la... El aceite que posee. Exacto, el aceite que posee. Entonces yo puedo hacer esto para acá. Ya. Ya está para aquí. Okay, we've got a little, um, my uh -huh. English is failing me right now. Un sartén con aceite. I don't know the English. A pan with um, oil. Again, I would like to use sort of like that half um, vegetable oil with half the whole oil. You can use whatever type of oil you want. We're just gonna add the onions in there first. We are gonna take the meat out of here. We're gonna put it into that container there because now we wanna pull the meat. So we want like a pulled beef situation, but in order to do that, we obviously need the meat to cool down. Update, we've added a colander. That way the water can completely drip out. But again, you just wanna separate that meat from that broth and ensure that it can cool down so we can pull it. And that's gonna be my job. <laughs> hey, Jack. <laughs> Jack. Va a aprender a hacer pabellón y a hablar español. <laughs> She's like, you're gonna learn to make pabellón. Pabellons are plated. This is the ten traditional dish, and then of course, like I mentioned, you can add a fried egg on top. But this is kind of your standard dish. You got the beans, the rice, the meat, and the plantains. Unfortunately, ours aren't very sweet, but it's still gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. 